neighborhoods. We'll finish the track this out, talk about when we totally clear coming up in a few minutes. All right, Crystal, thanks. Uh, police body cameras, they're touted as a tool for accountability and for transparency, but the cameras and their use are only as good as the officers to wear them. So what happens when cops keep the cameras off as they stop and frisk someone or get into a violent confrontation? NBC 10 investigative reporter Claudia Vargas found some troubling examples of Philadelphia police not using their body cameras as intended. More than one third of the Philly police force use body cameras and the police commissioner wants to buy more. But we obtained a memo sent to Philly PD last year that outlines big flaws with their body camera program. That sound was the eighth baton blow to Juan Torres as he tried to evade police officers. The scene is captured on cell phone video and on surveillance cameras. The one place it wasn't captured on was the officer's body cameras. The officers seem to seem feel so free to turn them on and off whenever they want. For his part, the arresting officer says he couldn't activate the camera because it got knocked off during the arrest. But Michael Mellon, a public defender, says the Torres case is an example of a widespread problem. We found that very few times were they following protocol, and there were numerous people that they were not documenting in their paperwork that they were stopping and searching. The Defender Association sent this memo to the PPD over what it says is the misuse of body cameras. The report focused on 60 cases in the 24th police district in Port Richmond. The defender dug into that district because of what it calls a pattern of complaints and unreliable testimony from officers. Some of the defender's findings included no body camera video captured prior to a person being handcuffed, no paper trail to accompany the detainment of individuals, and at least one officer backed away and turned off his camera while another officer stomped a man. Philly PD declined to discuss the cases outlined in the memo. I can't speak to that in specifics because to, to, to the point of an earlier question you asked, that is under internal affairs investigation. It's unclear if the officers named in the defender's report faced any discipline. According to the department's body camera policy, if police officers do not record events they're supposed to record, they will be subject to disciplinary action. You know, I wish I could tell you that every officer follows every policy all the time. It, it, would it, it might be a stretch and I don't have data. The point is I don't have data to support whether there's an egregious um, abuse of this policy or uh, egregious um, failure to follow this policy. Per the PPD's policy, cameras should be on when responding to a crime, when initiating any pursuit, when conducting any vehicle or pedestrian investigation, when initiating an arrest, when handling any protest or demonstration, and other instances. But even in cases when police officers do keep their cameras on, they may not be saving the video. It's an issue District Attorney Larry Krasner says keeps popping up. And in order for us to be able to use the body-worn camera, which may be very supportive, of everything they're saying, we have to be able to locate it. At the end of their shifts, cops are supposed to place their cameras on a docking station. That automatically uploads all video content to a cloud system. If the video is not tagged or bookmarked for review, it will be deleted 60 days later. That means the DA or the Defender Association may never get access to some evidence. When we go to trial and everybody knows that there was a body worn camera, but we don't have it to present at trial. It, all by itself, that can create a reasonable doubt. It can make it very hard for us to win a case. Philadelphia used to keep all body cam video for at least 75 days, which lawyers say wasn't long enough. But the department changed its policy last year to 60 days. They say it's to match state law. Some departments, though, such as SEPTA, keep all video for at least one year. The other problem with Philly PD's body camera program is the lack of independent review and auditing. Philly PD doesn't have any full-time people dedicated to body cameras. Any oversight is left to district supervisors. Not a specialized unit specifically to check from a, you know, high altitude, everybody's using it. It's still, again, to each command. Keener Bruce says that any body camera footage that captures use of force by an officer is sent to internal affairs for review. He also says that defense lawyers can request footage and therefore provide some independent review. Critics say there should be independent oversight of the body camera footage, but the biggest thing that activists, experts, defense attorneys, and the district attorney agreed on is discipline. 
They say without discipline, officers have no reason to turn on those cameras. For the investigators, I'm Claudia Vargas, NBC 10 News. Hey, I'm John Clark in my stay-at-home studio.